so hi so today we are going to see about the CRISPR okay so cluster regulator in the space short palindrome repeats so this is what we are going to see and today's video will be talking about the mechanism about it and about the discovery and the various applications related to it myself I'm Dr. Sneha and okay so why this CRISPR technology is being given a lot of importance why there is a lot of debates or controversies or ethical issues related to it is the benefit way if you think is all your dreams can come true okay if you want to become a Hulk or if you want to look like any celebrity or if you want to become a god of a cricketer or maybe a scientist or maybe a disease free person this is all possible with the help of this CRISPR technology okay so that is the main reason why this CRISPR has been given a lot of importance and it's been highlighted in the scientific field okay so before moving on to the CRISPR uh, mechanisms and the discovery about it we need to know the basic terminologies okay would have known about it anyway I'll be going through about it okay so what is gene Gene is nothing but it actually determines your physical trait. Okay, in your family, you would have seen like many people or many your your cousins would have been seeing you look like you look similar to your uncle or maybe aunt. And in a family, you can see the difference between a children. Right, some children will be having uh, straight hair. Some of them will be having curly hair. Maybe related to your eye color. So all these things because all the individual person is different according to the genes which is present in the body okay so according to the genes only your color your physical nature your character about your disease all these things is determined okay so that is why the genes is being given a lot of importance okay what is genes genes is nothing but it's a small stretch of dna sometimes it's made up of either dna or rna okay and if you take a human body it is made up of millions of cells but in each cell it has almost 25,000 to 35,000 of genes okay so that is why the genes has been given a lot of highlighters okay the next one we are going to be seeing is about the DNA so you all know what is my DNA DNA is nothing but it's a double standard structure it is made up of four nucleotides adenine, thymine, cytosine and gonin. So the basic thing is DNA it is a carrier of genetic information and it determines many functions such as gene regulation. Okay and what is the role of protein? Protein is nothing but it's a building block. It helps you to grow, work properly, also tries to maintain uh, your body healthy. Okay so this is what the function of a protein. So next one is we'll be seeing about the RNA. So RNA is it's a single standard one. It is made up of adenine, uracil, cytosine, and gonin. So similar way for some organism, it acts as a carrier of genetic information. Whereas for the human system, the principal role is it acts as a messenger carrying the instruction from the DNA for controlling the synthesis of the proteins okay and main biological roles are it helps in coding decoding regulating the gene expression fine so what is genome genome is nothing but it's in a total of uh, dna genes non-coding dna mitochondria or maybe protein the combination of all this thing is called as genome okay so these are all the basic terminology which we need to know now we'll be seeing about the discovery of the CRISPR okay so during 1987 the group of Japanese scientists was working on in a bacteria which is called as E. coli while they was working on this bacteria they were able to find out an odd DNA okay they were not able to find out what was the function and all they were able to find out so what was the uniqueness of this DNA was in the both ends it was palindrome palindrome means from the up right to left if you read it will be similar and from the right to left if you read it will be similar for example if you take a word madam if you read from right to left it will matter from the left to right if you read also it will be similar the similar way okay so the palindrome was there in both the side 
and it was 30 bases and it was separated by a spacer and the spacer was having 36 space okay so this was the thing which they were able to find out but they were not able to find out what was the uh, feature or the function of that particular DNA they just reported it but after years later during 1990 a different a scientist called as Francisco Mochko okay what he did was he was also working in a different unicellular organism and he was able to find out a different uh, DNA maybe odd DNA and when he was going on with the background research or the literature review he was able to find out the similar kind of the DNA in a uh, different organism that is E. coli so he was thinking why this both uh, organism was having the similar kind of the DNA sequence so this might be of some importance okay so he was assuming that and he turned named this type of DNA as CRISPR because it's a cholesterol regulator in the space palindrome repeats. Okay, so he was able to name this terminology and he didn't stop over there. What he did is he tried to isolate the spacer and try to run in a bioinformatic tool called as BLAST. BLAST is something, it is actually like a library which stores the information of various organisms. Okay, so what he tried to do is he tried to uh, run the spacer in this blast so you'll be able to find out what is the source of this DNA okay so while he was running and full successful he got the report as this spacer was belonging to the virus virus and especially the phage virus so this was a thing which he got and with the help of this he actually tried to hypothesize and state that this might be the bacteria way of protecting themselves or shielding them against this viral infection so he assumed that inside the bacteria the CRISPR DNA is present when this viral is infecting the bacteria what it does is the CRISPR DNA tries to fight against this viral infection and tries to protect themselves from the virus so this CRISPR DNA acts as an immune system okay so CRISPR is nothing but it is an a natural defense mechanism for the bacteria and this this hypothesis after years later it was it became true with a lot of other researches it was proved okay so this technology or this discovery was not stopped it was continuing and in 2006 in the yogurt factory the big invention or big supporting thing happened related to this CRISPR mechanism or the CRISPR technology so what was happening during that time was some of the yogurt in the production often result in the contamination okay and it was causing a lot of loss for that company and some of the yogurt was free of the contamination but they were not able to find out what was the problem which was causing. So then and a different scientist, a young scientist came forward. His name was Philip Horworth. He came forward and said, okay, let me try to sort out the issue. And he was a person who was trying to do a lot of research and experimental way. And he tried to prove what was, what was the issue which the yogurt factory is facing. And he inferred that it is not because of the cell membrane mutation but due to the viral DNA which is especially the CRISPR DNA which is present in the bacteria okay so he was able to find out that then he was doing a lot of experimental research and he tried to do an alternation in the DNA so all these things will be seen so what he did is in one particular DNA where the CRISPR DNA was absent he tried to inject with the virus infection so what happened because of the absence of this uh, CRISPR DNA this bacteria was infected with this virus and resulted in the death of the bacteria whereas in the another set where this CRISPR DNA was present in the bacteria it was able to fight against the virus and thus it was able to prevent themselves this is called as an adaptive immunity 
so according to the previous infection you are able to uh, produce the immune system against this viral infection then what he did is he tried to alter the DNA in another bacteria which was not having he was trying to do the experiment and here he was able to get the result where the bacteria was able to develop uh, the immune system against this viral infection okay so his experiment was successful not only that he was also able to find out that in the continuation of the palindrome he was able to find out a cas9 protein also okay so what is the function of the cas9 is it actually acts as an a molecular scissor helping to cut in the desired sites so this was his invention so he was able to prove that this bacteria has an adaptive immunity and you can actually uh, alter the dna along with it and you can help the bacteria to prevent the infection further so all these things he was able to do another scientist who came forward his name was john van de os okay what he did he was the first person to artificially create an array in the crispr spacer what he tried to prove is that the bacteria can be prevented with any type of virus with the alteration in the spacer which can be done okay so this actually acts as an a program artificial flu vaccine for the bacteria so he was able to do that Okay. So this are all the things which actually supported to take forward this CRISPR technology in the further application oriented. And the next scientist was another person who plays an important role in this CRISPR is the Emmanuel Charpentier. So she was able to found out, find out the last compound which is called as tracer RNA. So what is the function of the tracer RNA? It plays an important role in the maturation of the precursor crna okay so by 2012 they are able to find out all the three major compounds which will be able to kick start the invention further so they were able to find out the cas9 protein uh, cra uh, crrna and the tracer rna so they were able to find out all these things okay and the next scientist who helped in this is he tried to successfully transfer the in vivo CRISPR bacteria into in vitro test tubes. He was able to do that. This was also helpful for the further invention stages. And another scientist was working along with Emmanuel Charpentier, who was Jennifer Donner. So, what they both did is they tried to create the in a loop connecting this CRISPR RNA and the tracer RNA okay only if you will be able to connect it you will be able to create an artificial thing where you can actually work on with a different invention process so they try to create a linker loop connecting both the things and this is called as guide rna he was able to find out that okay and by 2013 because of all this invention there are a lot of scientists who was working related to this crispr technology okay and the next one is a scientist who actually paid a way or opened a way in the various uh, field of application especially in the human genome okay the feng sang okay he was a person who actually tried to do editing in the mammalian gene and he was able to finally optimize in a standard efficient and accurate manner how to proceed it okay so he was given lot of importance because of his only lot of application oriented work was starting related to this CRISPR one okay so i hope you're clear with all this discovery and general terminology now we'll be seeing about how does the CRISPR work or maybe about the genome editing fine so assume this as a bacteria okay the green is uh, just assume that as in a cell wall of an, a bacteria okay so inside the bacteria you have palindrome sequence we'll be looking about the crispr gene 
only because other genomes and all we're not talking about so this is the palindrome sequence which is present in the bacteria and this palindrome sequence was separated within a spacer okay so this was separated between the spacer and this spacer is actually the memory cell of the bacteria which was attacked by the viral infection okay so this is actually in a information for the bacteria and this was elongated with the presence of the cas gene okay so we have crispr genes and next one is a cas genes okay so what is the function of the cas gene is cas gene helps you helps to synthesize cas9 protein okay so what is the function of the cas9 is with the help of the helicase it helps in unwinding the portion and with the help of nucleus it will be able to cut the dna at the desired site okay so these are the two main function of the cas9 protein fine so now we'll be seeing the what happens if there is a viral infection at all so just take crispr gene cas gene so what is the function of the cas gene it tries to transcript and translate into a cas protein okay and what does the crispr does the crispr try to transcribe the crispr dna into the crispr rna so this crispr rna is enclosed into the cas9 protein so what happens when the virus is infecting the bacteria the viral genome is released into the bacteria and what does this cas9 does is cas9 try to enclose this viral dna inside them and with the help of the crispr rna because crispr rna is actually like an antibodies which fight against this viral genome and try to break down and degrade it okay so this is what the cas9 and the crispr rna does okay this is what the normal thing which it actually had because it was already infected with the viral dna so it was able to fight against that particular virus if this is not happening if this viral dna is not there was it was not affected before then what it does then the cas gene will be able to transcribe or translate into a different protein called as cas1 protein so what it does is it try to enclose the viral dna which was released from the virus and try to break down that and this spacer will be enclosed into the the dna sequence which is normally present before okay so this actually happens okay so this happens what it tries to develop the immune system related to it. that means it actually develop the memory cell which actually tells you this type of virus was been affected and it actually helps you to uh, the bacteria which helps you to fight against the viral infection in the future fine so this is what will happen fine i hope you are clear with the how does the crispr work now we will be seeing about the genome editing outside this bacteria so just assume this as an a dna sequence which is having the crispr gene and the cas genes okay so what is has uh, what the uh, cas gene helps you to do as genes helps you to produce the or synthesize the cas9 protein whereas the crispr gene tries to produce the crispr rna okay so what it does in artificially this crispr rna and the tracer rna will be loop which is by the guided rna okay so what is the role of all these things crispr rna role is it actually helps you to select the particular dna where it need to be cut whereas tracer rna actually recognize or actually helps the crispr gene okay to the elongation of the crispr gene the tracer rna helps whereas cas9 actually helps you to cut at the particular size so this is actually the function of the each compounds okay so what happens when the dna is there and you are just assuming where it need to be cut okay so this dna will be enclosed into this crispr rna 
and this CRISPR RNA recognize the position where it need to be cut and the Cas9 helps you helps the DNA to cut okay once it cuts this particular gene will be inactivate and during this there will be lot of insertion and deletion and the mutation which happens in the particular DNA so what normally it does is in the bacteria this particular gene will be inactivated so it will be not recognized in the bacteria so this is the way how the bacteria is normally fight against the viral infection whereas in the human thing what is a positive thing is this is normally it does whereas here what we can do is we can try to insert or delete the dna according to our wish okay according to our desired output you can actually work on with it so basically we require three major compounds okay one is cas9 and next is you require host dna and the next one you require the guided rna so these are the major three components you require before working on with a desired dna so this is actually helps you to fight against any genetical condition or the genetical disease oriented so what it does so the host rna will be attached to the dna where it was actually cut according to our desired site and this dna will be sequenced and fixed into the particular gene then what happened this forming a complete new system of the desired dna so this is actually helps in the different aspects of the applications not only related to the human system but also related to the agriculture way where you need to uh, produce a plant fight against any fungicide or insecticide all this can be done with the help of the crispr technology okay so what are the different applications related to the crispr so crispr actually opens its application in the various fields like agriculture as i mentioned if you want to produce a fruit which is big size or small it all can be done with the crispr technology and it also helps in the human therapeutics also and uh, human therapy related to the medications all those things and it also helps in the industrial biotechnology especially which we saw in the yogurt industry and all this crispr technology was helpful and related to the gene drives gene drives is something like they'll try to alter the genes in the offspring so the similar kinds of gene can be passed on from one generation to another generation so these are all the different application of the crispr technology okay and there's another scientist who was the first person to work on with this human genome and he tried to attempt to confer the genetic resistance against this hiv virus and his work was successful but he faced lot of legal issues now he is in the prison for 3 years and who has stopped uh, all the kind of human genome work because that is been facing lot of ethical issues and the controversies so all the res uh, related to the issues was stopped but he actually worked on with the especially the ccr5 gene he actually edited and incorporated that into an embryo which was there and both the child which was born was healthy enough and his result like this both the child will be able to uh, have the resistance against this hiv but what to say because of this ethical issue he is facing lot of other legal issues so i hope this video was helpful for you and uh, it was uh, informative if you like this video please click the like button and subscribe to my youtube channel for the further informative videos thank you very much for listening bye